Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it is that time again. It's time for another daily dose of dismal Disney. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about that live action Snow White remake. You know, the one without the dwarfs, the one with the... Uh, yes, the, with the magical creatures. The magical creatures, a.k.a. the uh, diversity crew. The bandits. The, uh, the bandits, okay. That's right. The okay, the, ba the bandits. Snow White and the seven diverse bandits. And uh, we're going to talk about how much money they need to reportedly make to break even on this movie. And that the reason it hasn't been canceled, despite all the massive massive backlash is that they have basically got too much money sunk into it. They can't pull the plug. Mm -hmm. Which That doesn't surprise me, actually. This turd is too big to flush. Yeah, but it it's is. not too big to fail. It's not too big to fail. So we're going to talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views and rants. Guys, you get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Go out to shopclownfish.com. We've been selling a lot of these uh, dismal t-shirts dismal kingdom celebrate the burning down of an american institution and uh when you're when you're making movies like this uh, ill-conceived snow white reboot you know it's it's easy to see why disney is failing i know when you said that like you're burned out of america burning down of american institution it actually makes me sad when you say that like when i see the disney stuff like going so bad I, it breaks my heart because i've been a disney fan for years back when disney was you know actually the Disney difference meant something. Now it just means how much can we screw you over? Um, it, it's sad to me, but then they kind of deserve it because they keep deliberately doubling down on stupidity. And you're sitting here watching this in real time, like, why? Are you, this is obviously the wrong thing to do. Why do you keep doing it? Like, uh, yeah. like well, you, you can't look away. It's like, you, but you also can't wrap your head around how stupid these people are. Well, I mean, that's the thing. Like, nobody, nobody at Disney was like, hey, yeah, um, messing with the original Snow White. I mean, the movie that started it all is not a good idea. It's not a good idea to take it this far away from the source material, guys. And, um, you know. I, guess I can't even. Especially since Snow White is what started the whole, like, Disney empire. And yeah, then even yeah. when they're doing the Disney 100 DVD collection for 1500 bucks, the first movie they list is Snow White. Yes, uh, but it's incredibly problematic because something, something, romance, something, something, non-consensual kiss, something, something. Something, she, something she's white. She's she's too white. So white's too white. We can't have that. So this is uh, Mr. Milo writing for Pirates and Princesses dot net that, uh, um, you know, there's been a lot of controversy around it. We've been covering this at length. Uh, this these are the dwarves or not dwarves or whatever the hell they're they are now bandits. Is that what they are? Bandits. Yes. Bandits. They're supposed to be magical creatures. Now I just said they're bandits. Do they they turn into magical creatures? I don't know. I think they just dropped the whole magical creatures thing. I think they originally were planning on doing dwarves and then they had to try to do damage control. So they now oh it's magical creatures and they just gave that whole thing. Let's make them bandits. We'll just make them bandits. They're furries. They just put like a mask on, and they're like the. The furry squad. They yeah, <laughs> turned into an animal. They turned to, I'm horse. a horse. <laughs> you know, so get those horse masks from Amazon. They can all like trot around. Yeah. So everybody's like, why don't they just cancel the damn movie? Rachel Zegler clearly hates the character and the story of Snow White, clearly. And she's a smarmy little bitch. <laughs> uh, my, she is. Kind she, of. she is. I, I think she is. Uh, she just every time she opens her mouth, she costs this company millions of dollars, and they need to shut her up because she she's like she is the face of anti marketing. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, she's like she is a hundred times worse than Brie Larson at this. Yes, point. Yes, but you know, she deserves more because she has to wear that dang Disney prize. Oh, that's that right. That's right. For yeah, like a, you know, eighteen hours a day yeah. for a couple months to, to do the filming. For millions she of dollars. She deserves lots yeah. of money, unlike the the people that are the face actors in the parks that wear it every damn day and get paid practically nothing. But you know. Yep, and they got to deal with the kids, and they got to deal with the pissy parents, right. and they have to deal with it. Yeah, and sometimes they have to deal with piss. I'm sure kids are pissing mm -hmm. on. You know, the theme park Snow White's lap. They have guys you know. always like grabbing their asses and hitting yeah. on them and stuff. Yeah. 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 So uh, anyway. Probably women grab their asses too. I, I mean, I'm not going to They judge. might. I was like, yeah, go him. Because he told her like, you know, out. You're you're out. Because she went up to him and immediately and appropriately touched him. It's like, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that, that, that's, that's wrong. I, it's just kind of funny though, the idea of like. Uh, a male actor getting groped at, at Disney and being like, hey. you know, harassment, the gassed on of all you the characters. I think it's fair. And I think it it's is good to 100% see because fair. I'm so, Absolutely. You know, I know guys get, get sexually harassed as they get it all the time. Like just as much as women, they get it, you know, all the time. I mean, not as much as women, but I know they get it a lot. 
And they said with kids, even though like the kids that are like are usually, you know, that kind of stuff happens to you are often more men, more male than female. They just don't, they just, they can get away with it because they won't say anything. So you know what? Go him. That's right. You kick her ass out. Kick anyway, back ass, to kicking people's asses out. Uh, yeah. So they can't really kick uh, Ziggler out of the movie. A lot of people calling for this thing to be shelved or, you know, punted over to Disney plus or whatever. And, and the, the main reason the rumor seems to be that because it costs so damn much money, they can't afford to not release it. Well, so they can't afford because they, they could. They could totally not release it. They could totally take the write down like Warner Brothers did, and yeah. just never release this this you know stinker. Well, but they they're they're gonna push it through. Yeah, there there are some complications here, and I have to wonder if it has something to do with like why some, it's some, down the culture where my ass. Yeah, right. Well, this this thing is gonna reignite it. That's why I'm like, I think Iger knows that this this movie is going to be one of the biggest flops in history. Because, uh, like I said, everybody is unified in hating this movie. Yeah, everybody it, thinks it's a bad idea. You know, it's not a political thing. It's like, this is not even Snow White. Well, like, this is isn't Snow White anymore. Too, and the fact that we're going we're gonna to be more inclusive by excluding the dwarfism the dwarfism community. Yeah. I'm like, what the hell? It was like the only roles they could get. Like, things like this. And they admit, that's like, well, we're actors. We don't get to go for the lead, the male leads most of the time. And then they're like, our female leads. We don't want to be judgy here. Um, because they don't want regular sized people for those parts, whether right or wrong, that's what they'll say. And then they're like, they they're aware of that. But then when they have parts that are for that that are for them that only they could play, they take them away from them too. Well, I mean, I'd be fucking pissed too. Willy Wonka, the Oompa Loompas, because oh, yeah. they, they don't want to offend the, the dwarfism community, so they're gonna CGI the Oompa Loompas. And they're gonna make it Hugh Hugh Grant. Hugh Grant. I mean, can you offend them anymore? Hugh Grant, really? <laughs> Hugh Grant. I mean, I like I like Hugh Grant. He's uh, is a thing, but uh, as Noopa Loompa, uh, you know, so I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't, there's like no way to win this one. So apparently the story is, and it came from Forbes cause they like to break it down by the money that this movie has to make at least $340 million. And you're thinking, well, this is a live action Disney remake. Of course, of course it's going to make a billion dollars at the box office. No, it's, it's not. They pointed out that the little mermaid uh, only made like 560 million and they don't have China now to prop this up. And The Little Mermaid, you know, you can think what you want about the casting of Halle Bailey, but at least she loved Ariel. Right. She didn't like, yeah. Actively I, try I to. Snow White. It's so problematic. Yeah. Like, this is my Ariel now, bitches. She's like, no, well, I kinda, love. You know, was like about the, you know, seeing characters look like me. That's great. So you're just changing characters to make them look like you. But she wasn't, she was nowhere near to the level of, of Zegler. No, no. And they did. You know, obviously with some casting choices or whatever, try to at least stay close to they, the spirit of the original. They did. They, they, other than the race bending, which they kept doing, um, they pretty much did with what they could do with, the, you know, them, some things don't translate. There's just no way. No. But she at least like talked about how much she loved Ariel and she, you know, was really excited about doing the movie and she was very happy to play the part. All that you hear Zegler complain about is or talk about is how, how problematic it was. And thank God she's here to fix it now, guys. Yeah, that's not a good look. I mean, that's one of the things with, you know, I'm looking at the difference between One Piece and Cowboy Bebop. And mm -hmm. one of the biggest differences, it's not just the quality of the show itself, which One Piece is a much, much better adaptation than Cowboy Bebop. It's also, I think, the fans' attitude toward the actors going into it. We had the actors who played Faye pulling a Zegler and being out there and atta right. preemptively well, I, I attacking the, the fans. fans attitude, the fans attitude. It's usually they get, they get their back up as soon as you have bad behavior. Right. And then as soon as you're telling them, we're going to modernize it because the original is pro that you love. So your pro is problematic. And people take that as, well, I'm problematic for loving that. That's what you're saying. And then they, they start having the actor slam on the fans. Yes. What do you think's going to effing happen? Yeah. So people were, I mean, they were looking. So I think what happens is you, you look at through that lens and people are going to find a lot more, problems with it because they're going to be hypercritical of it. Um, you know, and whereas with one piece, the actors that were involved in, in that show, especially a kid that plays Luffy, like they freaking love it. Mm -hmm. They love you it. You can tell it comes across. Yeah. And it comes across and they got the fans excited. I mean, just watching the kid who plays Luffy, even if you don't like the, the, the live action adaptation, at least, you know, his heart's in the right place. That's what I thought about Kelly Marie Tran. She was so excited about being in Star Wars. Like I adore her. Like she was so cute and so, uh, so excited. Unfortunately, she had a really shitty character, um, that people did not like for good reason, but the actress herself, she was just a sweetheart. And I just like wanted to give her a hug. Cause she was so cute about being so excited. 
Yeah, and and it's it's they blame the fans, but I'm like it's it's not in the case of Kelly Marie Tran, I'm like blame Ryan Johnson, blame mm-hmm. Kathleen Kennedy for poisoning the well, you know. Right, it's and, not yeah. I mean, are there actual racists out there that are that have a problem? Yeah. You know, yeah, but I think they're they're in the minority. A lot of times it's just fans get their backs up because they've been attacked. They've been hearing about how awful they are for two years leading well, up to the that. movie. Coming it's out. just like you, if you don't like it, it's not because you have valid concerns or valid reasons. It's automatically you're you hate women or you hate diversity yeah. or you you like especially and even if you, you you are, you know, the you are the representative of the people of the character, like you are that you know, a woman or you happen to be not white. And you're the same race as the character. You still are obviously are just, you know, uh, you know, white supremacist, misogynist, because they can't wrap their head around the fact that you think their version sucks ass. Yeah. Anyway, back to the speaking of sucking ass, let's talk about Snow White. Let's talk about Snow White. They're saying the biggest bone of contention was the casting. I'm like, that's not, no, it's not even the. Well, yeah, it was a bone. It, it was, but. it was at first, and then she opened her mouth. It was like, okay, yeah, now it's a huge bone of contention because she won't shut the hell up. And she keeps saying stuff. What is dumb? I mean, the character's known for Snow White because her yeah. skin is white as snow. I mean, that was dumb. I mean, if, if you, even people that are like that are for like at Little Mermaid changes and stuff, I've seen them on boards. They're saying, "Look, I can see Ariel, but like Snow White is the one you shouldn't do because she's literally called Snow White for a reason." Yeah, yeah. Well, then it got worse. So, so she opens her mouth and she keeps saying dumb stuff. She keeps, you know, throwing shade at the original. And now she's like, "There's not gonna be a prince." And she's not dreaming about true love. And they're not dwarfs. They're bandits. And this is going to be about, like, like fighting the man it's or something. It's girl power. It's girl power. Fairest and... of them all means who's the be- most just and the best leader. Oh, my God. Uh, so, the, yeah, they're talking about in Forbes. They're talking about David Hand, who's the son of the director of the original, saying that Walt and his father would be turning in their graves. I'm like, that's not the first time Walt Disney is powering Disneyland at this point. Because he has been turning in his grave for the last like eight or ten years, constantly. Hey, let's have alcohol in Disneyland. Let's do this. Let's gouge gouge people with exorbitant prices and all, everything he didn't want. Everything mm-hmm. he didn't want, they keep doing. So yeah, I don't think he's very happy. Um, he said that uh, it was a disgrace, but you know the the reality is is it's also a very expensive disgrace. They're talking about how they got this film tax relief. Another one filmed scheme. in the UK, 55, oh, 55 million for uh, the the Marvels got 55 million back. They got what? They get 40, 40 some million back. It was like 41, 41 million, million, yeah. million back. Yeah. So here's the thing. Can they not cancel it because they got given government money and they have to see it through? Like we gave you 41 it million. It could be. Like you have to pay that back or something. But the deal is you have to release this movie theatrically. Because we're giving you money as it could a be. film I don't know. So it might be that they're locked into it. it. Might be so everybody keeps trying to say, well, they can just pull the plug like Warner Brothers did on Batgirl. The difference is Batgirl was designed to be an HBO Max original, and it wasn't as expensive. And I don't think they had any kind of film credits or anything like that. Batgirl was, I think it was like under a hundred million dollars, and it was basically a, a high price CW mm-hmm. thing, you know. And so it was easy for them to pull the plug on it. It was weird. I mean. 95% complete and they pulled the plug on it. They could have just released it, but they were like, yeah, it's going to do brand damage. Unlike the flash, unlike uh, Shazam two, unlike black Adam, unlike blue beetle bat, bat girl is the one that's going to damage the DC brand. I'm oh, sorry. I'm reading this. They said that they, that they, that they were doing this because UK gives them money because then they hire their studios and yeah. Disney was well rewarded for hiring them. They got 41 million back. So wait, the 168.2 million, is without the forty one million, so that would over be over two hundred million. It would be two hundred, like almost two hundred ten million, with the forty one million added, and then they got forty one million off. So that's one hundred sixty eight after they got a tax credit or money back. So yeah, that that's not that's and that's not counting the theater tags. It's not. I mean, that's not counting the marketing. That's well, not counting that, residuals. That's what they're saying. They're saying with the theater tag and all that, the minimum. Back of envelope math that they would need to make is like 336. Yeah, but that's not million. counting the, the marketing. No. That's not counting. And like Mr. Marlowe brings up in the article, you don't have to go back there, but he says that, that the, the date, the numbers they were given were from like last year. So the, the the costs probably have gone up. Yes. With the delays. And now they might be delaying even further next year because they might be moving it over the strikes and then pushing something else into that slot. And that sounds, don't even, just stop. I know what you're going to do. No. She can't even get a kiss now. 
Okay. I knew you were going to just, they had to put something else into that spot and then um, they'll probably do that and then move it further back, which would be probably even more costs. Yeah. I think that, um, I don't know. It seems like they're kicking the can down the road with this one, but you have to figure out too. They're, they've got all the issues with the uh, VFX artists and it's not just Marvel's like everything. You can see how cheap a lot of this stuff looks now. And I'm like, or they have to pay the VFX artists well, more there to are, finish they're, it. They're, they're, they're right now. The Walt Disney Studios uh, VFX people are are voting to unionize right now. Like, yeah, so they're getting it from all sides. Like they're yeah. gonna just have to pay more. And they said, you know, normally this would be a, pretty much a guarantee, right? It's a live action Disney movie. But they're like the Little Mermaid. They expected that one to break a billion dollars. That was their best shot to break a billion dollars, and they said it only did five hundred sixty nine million. Yeah, and even then, I think if it broke, it, it probably just barely broke even if it broke even at all. Yeah, they because don't. The, the marketing was ridiculous. You know, the, the upside to this, the upside to this is if this one fails catastrophically at the box office and with Bob Iger saying that they're going to take a step away and see like what what is Disney's core business? It is possible because now they have the writer strike and everything, too, that they could just they could just kill all the other live action movies in development. One would hope, but they're also very effing stupid because every time you see something and you think they're going to learn their lesson with this one, oh, they're not going to do another one. Then they go back into the same damn thing again. And then you're like, we don't understand why we're keep we're going to keep making you do it. We're going to keep making you love it. And then it's, and then the box office pushes back and they yeah. just go and make another one. It's like they are deliberately trying to lose money. Yeah. So it, yeah. Well, maybe they are. Maybe they're investor. Are. Not happy. Not happy, Bob. <laughs> They're trying to trying to sink the value of the company so like uh, Apple can come in, swoop in, and I don't know. I just don't understand why you've done this at all. I mean, people keep telling you they don't want more live action remakes. They said now so much more. Yeah, you know, I think beyond just idiots being in charge. I think beyond that, I think part of it is Disney's toxic optimism, their toxic positivity. You hear about toxic negativity all mm -hmm. the time, and having worked in and around Disney marketing people. There is toxic positivity. It might be that a lot of people thought it was a terrible idea to do a lot of these movies or make the changes to the movies that they made, but they were too afraid to say anything because they didn't want to be accused of being negative and then get shown the well, door. Well, they would not just be accused of being negative because it's most they'd a be lot racist. of it's like stupid. Yeah. yeah. And they'd be like, you're just a racist, just a phobic, whatever. And we can't have that because, you know, reimagine tomorrow training right now. Yeah. Well, they got rid of her, didn't they? Yeah. You know, so I think they're learning, but the problem is they're they're too they're too, learning too slow. They're learning too slowly, and they can't course correct because it takes years for this stuff to work. If there's going to be any change, if and that's a huge if, if there's going to be any meaningful change at Disney, if they're going to try to nope out of the culture wars, which Bob Iger claimed they're going to, I'm like, nah, they're just going to be sneakier about it. But if let's give them the benefit of the doubt, let's say that's what they're actually going to do. It's going to take four or five years until we actually see the result of that. But if, well, especially if, those, if they don't cancel these movies that are coming out, we're going to see it more and more until the, they get through all this content, yeah. which is just going to make it worse. So if he truly stands by that we're going to quiet this. He needs to not release Snow White. Yeah, I think that would be, I, I think at this point, everybody would cheer. Everybody would cheer if you canceled this movie. And it's not a political thing. Just say, hey, it's not coming together. We'd rather not destroy the legacy of Disney's first animated motion picture. They're not going to say picture. that. They you will know. admit wrong, especially Iger. Then you get what you fucking deserve. I guess, you know, it's like, That's the problem. They yeah, are. you get what you deserve. And they even put here that the stock is down. So whatever, whatever. I don't know it's down right now, but it was. It's down again, yeah. Is it? I yeah. don't know. So, well, I was on this article, so. All right, so we're going to wrap this up. Yes. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's the reef dot support.